The Internazionale Biennale d'Italia continued on Thursday. Crowds flocked to the Foro Italico to see the stars of the WTA battle it out for a place in the quarterfinals. First to take to the court after a brief rain delay were Chinese world number no. five Li Na and two time Rome champion Yelena Yankovic. The former world number no. one had the edge in the first set, although Li found her best tennis when under pressure. Now, well played, Li Na. And where did that come from? But she couldn't complete the comeback. Jankovic dominating a tiebreak to take a one set lead. Oh, play. And in that uh, backhand deep into the same corner. Lina wrong footed. Jankovic takes this first set 7 6. It continued to be a competitive affair in the second set, but Jankovic once again edged in front, winning a marathon game lasting more than 20 minutes. Gets the break. Former French Open winner Lee continued to come up with the goods when it mattered. Just clipped the line, that was close. But it was 2007 and 2008 Rome champion Jankovic who came through the epic contest in the end. The 28 year old would play Simona Halep for a place in the last four. And there it is, another miss hit forehand. Gifts the match to Yelena Jankovic, the world number 18, the former world number one, advances into the quarterfinals. Serena Williams wasted little time in her last 16 clash with Dominika Sabolkova. She does the job with an ace. So things going very much according to the game plan for Williams. The Slovakian world number 16 came within points of defeating Williams in Miami earlier in the season and showed flashes of that form again here. A well play. Great tennis from Sybil Kova. For once wrestling the initiative from Williams. Putting her on the back foot and doing Juice. it well. But it was a routine win in the end for the world number one. She can now set a career best winning streak of 22 matches with victory over Carla Suarez Navarro in the quarters. Well, there it is. Does it in style. Serena Williams takes care of business against Dominika Sibylkova. She's only been beaten twice this season by Sloane Stevens and Victoria Azarenka. I knew what to expect today, so and I knew I had to go re be really focused today because um, I barely was able to win the last time we played. I feel good today, you know, but I have to go with how I feel tomorrow, and uh, hopefully I'll be okay, but we'll all see. World number two, Maria Sharapova, was also in dominant mood against rising star Sloane Stevens. That just makes it look easy. The young American showed signs of what she's capable of, but it wasn't enough to challenge Sharapova, who's aiming for a third consecutive title in Rome. And she does just that. It was a loose return. And she was quick to pounce, and it is the two-time defending champion. World number two, Maria Sharapova, who takes out the opening set. The Russian dropped just three games to set up a last eight showdown with home favorite Sara Arani. And the Sharapova train continues to steam on here in Rome. Next stop, quarterfinals for the Russian. Of course, as she attempts to do the magic treble here in the Italian capital. Um, I expected a, a tough match from Sloan. Obviously, she had a great start to the year getting to the semifinals of the Australian Open. So I know that she's capable of playing really good tennis and, you know, especially against the top players, you know, she seems really ready for those types of encounters. Um, so it was really important for me to start well today and, and finish the match off on a, on a good note. Sam Stoza was also a winner on day four. The Australian beat Petra Kovitova and will now face former world number one Victoria Azarenka in the quarterfinals on Friday.